I'm Alex Jordan from LearnColorGrading and FilmSimplified.com and I promise you, today you will understand the main difference between saturation and color boost in Resolve. So if you look below the color wheels in Resolve, you'll notice that you have two controls that seems to be doing the same exact thing. We have saturation and color boost. So note that below the color wheels we have two different sets of controls. If I have number one activated here, I have certain controls active and they include saturation. So I can increase or reduce saturation. Let's reset. And if I click on number two here, I reveal a different set of controls that includes color boost this time. And I can increase or reduce color boost. So why do we have two controls that seems to be doing the same thing? Well, there are many subtle differences between both effects, but let's take a look at the one thing you should know that will change how you deal with the entire effect. And let's start with saturation. To explain this, let's start first by making the image really red. So note that I controlled the primaries and I just made the image really red. So now we have a red image. Now, let's start with saturation. I'll go to the first set of controllers and reduce saturation all the way down. And notice what happened. Now we have a black and white image, which simply means that the saturation effect uh, happens after the uh, color wheels uh, changes. So the color wheels adds certain colors to the image and uh, the saturation effects happens after the changes already happened. So when you reduce saturation, you're reducing both the original colors of the image and the added colors, uh, you know, using the, that you added using the color wheels. Let's now see color boost. So I'll reset everything, go to gain, and again, make the image really red or orange. And then I'm just going to switch to the second set of controllers by clicking here. And now I'll reduce the color boost all the way. And notice something important. Now we only have a red image, which simply means that the color boost effect happened before any changes you know you added or any colors you added using the color wheels so one of them the color boost happens before the added colors or the changes you made in the color wheel and the other one saturation happens after the color wheels but the question here is why does that matter well saturation allows you to reduce or increase the saturation of the image just normally however color boost allows you in one of its uses to uh, recover the original colors or some of the original colors of the image uh, before your, the changes you made to uh, the colors using the color wheels. So for example, let's take a look at this image. I'll increase the red in gain, for example, to make the image really red or orange in this case. And now note that by controlling color boost and increasing it, I'm getting some of the green colors back here in the front. Take a look at before increasing color boost and after increasing color boost. We're letting some of the original colors punch through the changes we made. Let's reset color boost, switch to saturation. And if I increase saturation, I'm just increasing the added colors along with the image. So I'm not getting any of the original colors back. Let's reset saturation, switch back to color boost, increase it. And you can see that we got some of the original colors back. And we can actually reduce color boost if you wanted just to make the changes we made using the primaries wheels more powerful. So if you like this, please visit us at filmsimplify.com where you can join our free Resolve Crash Course that will take you through every tab in Resolve. And as always, if you wanted to learn more about uh, the latest deals on our educational material, you can always visit deals.filmsimplified.com. Thank you. Filmsimplified.com.